Hi, my name is David, and today I want to give you a short intro to FedView. When you log into FedView, you see this dashboard. You see the, uh, some apps, some functionalities, and some settings. Today, in this video, I want to focus mainly on the core functionality of FedView, and this is the reporting and ultrasound reporting, ultrasound examination reporting. So. We see the patients here. When we click here, uh, we would see the patients. I will, I will uh, come to that later. We have a messaging function. Many of our clients asked us, hey, can you give us a tool that would somehow improve my communication with the patient? They're calling us every day in the practice, asking for medication. It's really time consuming. We need to answer the phone. We need to call back the uh the patient the patient is not available we search for a for a call date when to call and so on and so on it's super time consuming so we created this messaging function so the doctor and the patient can send each other encrypted messages in in an integrated system the doctor can also share documents via this messaging system external documents which he uploaded um, externally lab reports uh, nipt tests whatever he can everything can be shared uh, with the patient over the messaging function we have a calendar function as well so you can you can place a widget on your website uh, where you can offer online appointments uh, to your patients we have a favorite functions Favorite function, this means that you can flag, you can, you can flag pictures, uh, nice pictures which you want to get back to. So all the pictures you save or you flag will be saved in this favorites uh, section and you can, um, you can come back later to this and take it for conference for your website or whatever. Uh, website, we create a small website from all these uh, details in FedView. We have a statistics function. We have many, many videos or many videos, two or three videos about the statistics. So you can watch that as well. Um, we have a backup as well. So this means that FedView is doing a backup of all data every night to your medical facility. And here you can see the status of this backup. But as I said, let's now focus on the core, core functions of FedView in this video and these are the patients and the examinations so i clicked here now we see it's a demo account right so we see three patients here two patients uh, let's click into damina Fuhrmann, and we see the profile of the patient and everything what you see here is customizable so you can add fields you can delete fields you can do whatever you want. If you want to know the profession of the husband, you can create a field here and enter the profession of the husband. Pregnancy, gestational age, uh, and so on and so on. It's just basic data. So when I click on studies, I see all, I see, in fact, I see the health record of the patient. We see some appointments here, an obstetrics uh, examination, a laboratory report, but let's focus now on the obstetrics here. You see already that you have here a short uh, sneak peek, in fact, into the examination where you see some measurements you have measured with the percentiles already. So I click now on into the examination and now we see the examination form again this form is completely customizable in terms of fields so if you need to report something you will get it if you don't need it every doctor has a little bit of a different special field the one is doing more echo the other is doing more first trimester second trimester the other one is doing everything so every doctor has his specialities and fed you can be really really nicely customized to your needs i said uh, i talked quickly about the templates 99 percent of all pregnancies are okay so um, you can create a template for that so that the 
form will be automatically filled out and you can just change things could be quicker sometimes so we have the patient data we see now in fact the the overview of the pregnancy so the estimation method is here chosen last period but you can uh, also choose for example that uh, ga will be calculated according to this to crl medical data um, i would just quickly show this one this is the daily examination the gravidogram it's specially made for our German-speaking clients because the German Mutter Pass um, or we have a template for the German Mutter Pass because everything is already in FedView and you just need to print out um, the inlay for the Mutter Pass. For, the, for all the others, the German Mutter Pass is a maternity log. Um, so we create templates for this maternity log so that you don't need to fill it out manually. Medical data here, mother's height, mother's weight, and so on and so on. You can create for sure text templates. I create something, I save it here. It will be now saved. Let's create a different one. So you see now that I have created two text templates here and I can choose them and they will be filled out here automatically. So let's go on, the examination method. To each individual item, you can always put a comment if you don't have the, the, the choice here, you can always create a comment. But as you know, you can customize this. So if you're missing something, you just add another choice. Super easy. Let's come to the measurements. The, the ultrasound is connected via the DICOM interface to FedView. So all the pictures and all the measurements goes automatically to FedView and you can then add more details to it as you can see here and you create a report out of it so let's go to the measurements which will be automatically transferred via dicom we see some some data here about the examination and here you see now the classical let's say fetal measurements in the first and uh, second trimester so these are all DICOM fields. This is automatically transferred from the ultrasound. You see the percentile here. Uh, you see it graphically. You see also according to the percentile, it should be in this GA, in this age, and you see a small preview of the growth curve. So here are the, the, the measurements. You can create sketches as well if you want to I don't know if you want to report the position, you can also draw into it. It's it's really good when you have a mama examination. So you can you see the corso and you can really easily um, point out the tumor in this. So I will just create this sample pic. You go on, you have you seen this? Have you not seen this? You you see here what you can do everything. Doppler as well the same with percentiles maternal vessels doppler so i go down fetal echocardiogram, vaginal examination we see now the fmf uh, assessments here for example the the uh, the first trimester screen in the classical one for trisomies 21 18 and 13 so you fill this out you can also create or calculate the moms individually then you click calculate and you will get immediately the results back the really nice thing here about this is so we send the data to london they calculate it and they send us immediately the data back always on a, on the most current algorithm with no needs up, uh, with no updates needed so you don't need to update fedview to get the most recent fmf algorithm <clears throat> everything is included in FedView and you can be always sure to use the most recent stuff. Preeclampsia as well. Uh, gestational diabetes is up. So, yeah. So here's the most recent algorithms of the FMF. We have uh, WHO, diagnosis and so on. Here's, here we see the, the ultrasound pictures which are automatically transferred to FedView. Every picture has a different function. You can put it into the report. You can share it with the patient. You can create a small presentation. 
after after the examination for the patient you as a doctor can save it this is the favorite function you can choose if this picture should be the title photo of the report i will show you in a sec and if this would be an nt scan you can send it directly to the fmf from fedview in the future so you can be recertified directly so you save all your nt pictures for a year let's say you have the 30 pictures you choose three pictures you want to send to the fmf and you just click at the picture this this checkbox and the picture will be sent to the fmf automatically no upload needed uh, uh, no download needed no upload needed to the to the fmf website super comfortable sure we have also uh, video files here uh, which i don't have now any of them but if you have a loop on the on the ultrasound you see it here as well we can also show 3d volumes um, you can also post edit pictures but this should be just a short introduction about fedview so here you see the growth curves again with uh, the measurements and if this all is done you just click at the bottom save and report unfortunately you cannot see it in this screenshot now i will just click it now and a report is being generated now and we will see this report at the bottom of the page it will be now updated so that we also see the report with the sketch i did so here is the report i created so here's the report it's just a sample report, sample font, sample uh, colors. You can choose the size, the font size, the page margin, so that you create really, really an efficient uh, report. Here you see the title photo, which we chose. Here you see the sketch. We did Doppler sonography here, the images that are inserted in the report, uh, the charts, the, yeah, the growth curves and an affirmation. So this is a classical PDF report. You can put it back into your patient profile in a different system. You can send this PDF report via FedView in an integrated system to the patient. You can send even this report to your colleague where you got the patient from, for example, to send him the report back with, with your findings. Everything integrated, everything encrypted and secure and the other doctor needs a read-only account he doesn't need to pay for fedview if he just wants to receive data and read data from you guys thank you very much for your attention for your time this was a short introduction to fedview i hope you liked it and if you have questions please feel free to contact us uh, at info at fedview.com or go to our website fedview.com and see more details about fedview and there's also a trial request form where we would gladly create you a trial account and you can test fedview for free for 14 days and see if it will fit you and we will make it fit to you so that you will be happy thank you guys for your time and bye bye